This is Plant-Based Briefing, the film that turned us vegan overnight by Michael O'Fay at TheMinimalistVegan.com. And I'm Marian Erickson, host of this curated content plant-based podcast, where I research and get permission to narrate a variety of articles on plant-based and vegan topics in about 10 minutes or less every weekday. I started this podcast because as I embarked on my plant-based and then vegan journey, I learned that there are so many reasons to live vegan, so many facets to it, and there's so much great content out there anyway, and me being able to share it in an audio format that works better for some people, I just find so fulfilling. This podcast is modeled after Justin Mollick's Optimal Living Daily podcast, and I reached out to him when I started looking into this to get some tips from him and let him know what I was doing, and he was very helpful gave me great suggestions for reaching out to content creators and getting their approval to be able to share their content on the podcast. If you'd like to support the podcast, one of the best ways you can do it is just by sharing it. I'm just doing this to get the word out there, this great information. So if you can share it and have more people be able to listen to it, I'd be very grateful. It's also helpful if you could leave a five-star rating or review wherever you listen. The places, I believe, the bigger places that take reviews are Apple Podcasts, Spotify, they take just ratings, and Amazon Music. And today's post is from Michael O'Fay from The Minimalist Vegan. He and his wife, Marcia, are best-selling authors, passionate bloggers, YouTubers, and podcasters, and they're exploring what it means to live with incredible intentionality. They create lots of amazing content covering a range of topics including minimalism, veganism, zero waste living, productivity, consumerism, and travel amongst other things. So you can check them out at theminimalistvegan.com. And now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. The film that turned us vegan overnight by Michael O'Fay at theminimalistvegan.com. Some people become vegan for ethical reasons, some do it because of the environment, and others do it for their health. The great thing about veganism is that all of the reasons are positive, and most vegans end up appreciating all of the benefits over time. Personally, I changed because of the ethical reasons first and foremost, and I've since discovered some fantastic health and environmental benefits of becoming vegan. It's important to note that Marcia and I became vegan overnight. There was no gradual process. We committed to it on the spot. In fact, on the same day that I turned vegan, I ordered a large chicken kebab to go along with fries which were drenched in chicken salt. I enjoyed every last bite of it. Little did I know that later that evening, I would never eat that kebab again. I made this impulsive decision all because of a film I watched. In just under two hours, this documentary completely changed my relationship with food. Like most of us, I was utterly disconnected from where our food came from. I never thought twice about how my popcorn chicken was made. I just ate it blindly. But now things are entirely different, as I can see much clearer now. And today I want to share my thought process behind deciding to no longer consume animal products. Here's my journal entry from the day I became vegan. I naturally wanted to resist and reject veganism. I flirted with the edge of going plant-based in the past, but never really paused to think about the human side of things. I mean, who wants to know how animals get slaughtered when you're trying to eat a juicy slab of meat? This type of ignorant thinking had blinded me for 26 years of my life. Every time Marcia wanted to show me an article or a film about animal cruelty, I would deny her as, deep inside, I didn't want to know. I couldn't handle it. But one day, I took it upon myself to learn more about how we treat animals. Firstly, I researched other people online who were already vegans. I read a few Zen Habits articles to get me started, which then led to a few YouTube videos. I stumbled upon an Ellen DeGeneres interview where she talked about her transition to veganism. She said that everything changed when she watched a documentary called Earthlings, which is narrated by Academy Award nominee Joaquin Phoenix and also featured music by platinum-selling recording artist Moby. Both artists are vegan. The host asked Ellen whether she had seen Food, Inc., in which her response was, Oh yeah, but it's like a Disney movie compared to Earthlings. This one statement raised my eyebrows, and I knew I had to investigate further. I mean, come on, it's Ellen. Marcia and I had seen Food, Inc. before, so I was curious at this stage. 
I found the trailer for Earthlings and read the reviews. By all accounts, this was a no-holds-barred approach to animal cruelty. The documentary was described by many as a horror film, but the only difference is it's real. At this point, I was pretty freaking nervous. Taking the first step. I called Marcia to see if she was keen to watch it. She Facebook messaged me later on in the day to say that she had watched the trailer and didn't know if she could get through it. But much to my surprise, she mustered up the courage to sit through the documentary with me. And to be honest, I'm so glad she did, because I don't think I would have been able to get through it without her. The film is broken up into five categories, domestic, food, clothes, science, and entertainment. These are all of the areas in which humans take advantage of animals. What got me straight away was the concept of speciesism. This concept draws comparisons to social discrimination, including sexism and racism. The idea is that we used to, and still do, treat each other with ultimate disrespect. However, at some stage, the humans being discriminated against were able to stand up for themselves. Unfortunately, we can't say the same thing about animals. These are helpless beings who are being treated like slaves, and we use them for our own human needs. And unlike humans, they don't have a voice or the intelligence to fight for themselves. The Realization The documentary showed us the ugly truth and gave us some much-needed perspective. For Marcia, it was more about reinforcing her beliefs as well as addressing some areas of veganism she had not yet considered. For me, it was a complete mind f I quite like animals, and to see them being treated like crap hurt me. The constant slitting of the throats, lack of space to live, scared look on the animals' faces was a bit much for me. Having said that, I still believe that if you live in the jungle and you absolutely need to kill a wild animal to survive, I say go for it, but only if it was a matter of life and death. But if you're sitting on your ass and buying meat and dairy because it's convenient, when we have a ton of alternative options, that's not cool. At the end of the day, as much grief as we give these large food corporations, they are hustling to meet the demands of the consumer, which means slaughtering billions of animals to meet the needs of us, simple economics. So we have a choice, we really do, and organic grass-fed meat isn't enough. Animals should be left alone and have the same opportunity as humans do. Let them go on to make their own mistakes on their own terms. Don't take advantage of them just because we're on the top of the food chain. Looking back on the transition to becoming vegan overnight, there's so much we've learned about this lifestyle and we continue to learn every day. It's been challenging at times for sure, but every time we feel like we're about to fall off, we think back to the night we watched Earthlings and there's just no way we can go back. After some time, things get much easier. You start finding places to eat out. You learn how to inspire others through actions, not through preachy words. You find even more beauty in whole plant-based foods. And you start naturally connecting with others who share the same passion. Overall, it's been a great experience. It feels good to know you can eat amazing, healthy food without compromising the livelihood of the animals in our world. So far, we wouldn't change a thing. You just listened to The Film That Turned Us Vegan Overnight by Michael O'Fay at TheMinimalistVegan.com. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson. And the point where he says there's just no going back once you know the truth, that's why I think it's so important for people who go vegan for environmental or health reasons to learn the truth about the animal exploitation and suffering. Because if you go vegan for health, for example, like I initially did, it's easy to fall off the wagon. I mean, you don't see or think about any direct consequences of your actions if you decide to eat meat or dairy or eggs again. But once you know the truth, there is no way I could ever, ever, ever purchase meat, dairy or eggs again, knowing the cruelty behind it and that it's not necessary. So educating ourselves about the animal cruelty, I think is key to staying in this for the long haul. And you do not need to be an animal lover or even like animals to be vegan for the animals or to be an ethical vegan. One of my sisters is an ethical vegan and she doesn't particularly like animals. I mean, she doesn't wish them any harm, but she doesn't want companion animals or you're not gonna find her watching cat videos or anything. 
but she has a sense of decency. She has a soul. She doesn't want to cause them harm for no reason. She doesn't want to take advantage of them just because she can. That's what it comes down to. But believe me, I know how difficult it is to get people to look at the truth. I have another sister who is an animal lover. Total bleeding heart for animals, but she won't even listen to my podcast. She started listening to my intro episode when I first released it, and only got a couple minutes in and said she can't listen to it because she knows it's going to make her want to change. So please share this episode with anyone who might benefit and maybe somebody will be ready to hear it. And thanks for listening.